The New York State Legislature started its new session yesterday with some historical significance. Not only do Democrats control the governorship and both houses, a woman is one of the top three leaders, or the three top leaders, for the first time. But as News Channel 34's Morgan Mackay shows us, some rules changes in the Senate had Republicans howling in protest. Day of school for us over here at the Capitol. Today started off with new senators and assembly members being sworn in, but making history, Senator Andre Stewart Cousins was formally elected to be Senate Majority Leader, becoming the first African American woman to hold this position. It's shaping up to be the year for women in the state legislature. There are now 20 women senators and 50 women assembly members breaking the record for both houses. I'm already kind of known in the conference as somebody who's always bringing up the upstate interests. The historical significance of just being in this building, let alone being a member of the assembly and having a seat on the assembly floor. And it really does put everything in perspective on how important it is to be the voice for the people. The Senate Republicans are wasting no time, however, holding a press conference notably missing their minority leader, Senator John Flanagan, who is currently in rehab for his alcoholism. Senator Joe Griffo is leading in his place for now. We are united and supportive of his efforts to take care of himself and his health and uh, it's, he will return as the leader of this conference. The Republicans are worried that the vote on rule changes today will put the minority at an unfair advantage. They are saying that the new ethics structure would continue with bipartisan investigations, but place more Democrats on the committee than Republicans. We need to have and ensure that it is nonpartisan and that it is equal. I haven't seen the new rules, and I was told that they were released last night at 10 o'clock, and I would hope that we would get off to a better start. The rules change did pass with 39 votes, but in response, the Senate Democrats did say a majority is needed since a committee will be voting on ethical bills. The next day of session will be January 14th, this coming Monday. Reporting from the Capitol, I'm Morgan Mackay.